Hey everybody. Now I'm looking a little closer at the New Mexico Territory during the time of the Civil War. Now you gotta ask yourself, what is the significance of New Mexico? Why did Texans even care? Or, or people in the South? Well, it happened about 20 years earlier during the Mexican-American War, where President Polk pretty much said as a campaign promise that he was going to make sure that California and Texas were going to be part of the Union, basically saying he was going to make sure those parts of the country were taken from Mexico and all the areas in between, New Mexico being one of them. And so what happened was um, the American army went down to Mexico and they got the one they won the war. Long story short, there's a lot to it, more than that, of course. And the Mexicans signed over all the territory over here to the United States. But there's a problem where the Congress of the United States at the time made it so that this area was not going to be open to the expansion of slavery. Basically, so the slave states would not be able to continue expanding west. They were really hoping to get New Mexico so they'd be able to expand west and make this a slave state. Because what they really wanted was a transcontinental railroad for the, for the south, eventually for the confederacy, in case they did win the war, they want to be able to reach both oceans. And so, when the fact that the, most of the men who fought in the American army during the Mexican-American War were boys from, from the South. Most of the men who fought in there were from the South. Most of the soldiers were, for many different reasons on that. So they took it kind of as a slap in the face when their boys had been the ones who did the fighting and a lot of the dying for, what, for that the war, just to find out that they weren't welcome with their peculiar institution to live in that area as well. So there's a little bit on that. There you go.